After knowing how to conduct a proper literature search, it's time for us to know where to publish. What journals should we be thinking of for publishing? We should first of all look at the aim and scope for the candidate journal. Then we should visit J journal author name estimate database, which would provide us with some uh, appropriate journals for me to publish in. You just copy here the abstract, and if you scramble it. I don't advise to, it's in the confidential for confidentiality, but you will lose the context of the uh, sequence of the words. So if you have uh, leaving without being seen, you'll have without, 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 and in, in, uh, behind each other, leaving the leaving without being seen concept. So it would, the concepts would be missed. You can also go about it by looking into keyword searching here. And then I click Find Journals. It would give me the Medline Index. And I'd rather have it currently Medline Index with the confidence and the articles that are there. So I would go about it by thinking of Otol Neurotology neuro, first. And then come my way downwards. Other than it being indexed in Medline Index, it also gives me highly quality open access journal and whether it's published in PMC journal. Hello. PMC, now PMC, there's a chance for the predatory journals to come in because NIH grants that are given are to have the full text articles uh, depositing in the PMC, which is the hub for full text articles of PubMed. There's no evaluation process so far for the articles that are being published. Where are they? being published. That's why the PMC is a, a pathway for some of the predatory journals. So if it's just PMC, I would doubt it. I would look whether it's, it has impact factor and furthermore. This is one way. Another way is Elsevier Journal Finder, which helps you find appropriate Elsevier journals for your publication. And we know that Elsevier hosts the very highly impact factor journals in medicine. So if I just come in here and plug in the abstract, let me for the title. Go down. You can also filter by define searching. For example, you can search only open access journals or journals with subscription, and you click find journals. This will give you matching journals with the impact factor, with the acceptance rate, the time of the first uh, response or decision, and the time to publication. And if you find it relevant, you can click on the article on the journal directly, and then you submit your paper manuscript here. So it saves time on you. To look up for the title uh, for the web page of the journal again. Third way is Springer Journal Suggester. Other than Elsevier, there's Springer that would suggest for me journals from Springer. Agreed. However, this one does not accept only. The abstract, but it also it, it, it mandates the title. You can define your recommendations as well. Minimum by year, identify minimum impact factor, minimum acceptance rate, maximum time for decision, and then suggest journals. Like Elsevier, it gives me a set of variations here. And like Elsevier, you can click it and submit your manuscript. Another way would be PubMed and Ovid Medline. After you've learned how to look up literature effectively and in a timely manner, which is efficiently, and now you are health information literate, in EndNote, upon doing all your search, 
you can go to EndNote and filter or sort sorry by journal title and see which journal has been repeated multiple times now that you've done the search in a proper manner using the mesh searching you can identify the journal that is being, being repeated another way would be journal citation report we're gonna tack an end note in the live session so i can show you how to go about looking the uh, looking up the journal that it is that is uh, repeated and thus relevant to your topic and search because you're looking for mesh searching relevant talking about you can browse by category or you can enter a journal name if you have a journal suggested to you by your advisee if you don't have any notion about this just come to the browse by category and try to have it in the quartile one so for, for example It's an oncology. You click on the journals. It's 230 journals in oncology. If you want it to be uh, open access only journals, you can click here. If you want it to be in the first quartile journals, you can click here. So you can play around with the limitations and then click submit. If you want to see the whole 230 and start your way from up downwards, you simply come here and click on download which downloads them into a csv file and you will start your way from the, the journals with the highest impact factor and move your way downward these are some journals arab journals that have impact factor which is advised to for you to to look for, to look there as well for me to publish in a journal, I will be looking into the following factors. It has an impact factor in quartile 1. It is indexed in Medline, currently indexed in Medline. Why? Because of the booming of the systematic reviews. And when you have systematic reviews and you are being screened, upon the screening, we don't look into the journal. So you might be in a not very well of known journal, but you will be shortlisted because your topic is related to to the systematic review concept open access in a high quality database and in pmc so if all of these factors work out to me i am living on cloud nine but if they don't then you have to weigh your your way through most importantly for the journal to have a good impact factor and to be indexed in medline to me how to know whether the journal was indexed in Medline or not. I simply click here and I type in the name of the journal or I can browse through the currently indexed in Medline. Journal is currently indexed in Medline. See it says here currently indexed. I don't want things that were indexed in Medline. So Lebanese Medical Journal for example used to be indexed in Medline, not anymore. So if I publish in it, I wouldn't have the exposure of people looking into my articles in via PubMed, or at least into my bibliography via PubMed. We discussed about open access. One high uh, quality open access database is the directory of open access journals. It's scientific quality and the publisher and the editorial board. You can see who's there on the editorial board if, he, if, uh, if the person there is very well known in the specialty then yes I will go and publish in the journal one way to help you look into the editorial board is Publons given by Clarivate and it is provided by AUV before you submit think check and then submit